Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Carthage, part number 10 of my very hard campaign for Total War Rome 2. So, last time out we took Gadira. This army is in force march and is moving towards Gadira to reinforce. I have moved this army to, well this unit I should say, it's only one unit, to attack Ibosim. It's suicidal, I'm going to lose the unit, but I'm doing it because I'm hoping to draw away some of these fleets so they don't follow this fleet over here. That's the general consensus anyway. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Kartuba, I've actually got plus nine now because I got bread and games on and plus I rebuilt, or I should say I built a new shrine. Um, over this side, as I previously mentioned in my other parts, I've resigned myself to lose the Mediterranean. I lost Carthage last time in an auto resolve. Basically there's three full stacks, or near enough full stacks, from three different armies. I had the Mycelae tribe, I had Libya and I had Syracus all attacking me at Carthage. So yeah, there's no way I was going to hold that. There's no way I was going to hold Libya, uh, Lilibium as well. I still have Corallis and I still have Cosentia, but that's only because they haven't been attacked. But I'm happy to leave them like they are at the moment. So we're going to zoom back over to this part of the map because this is where it's all happening. And we're at the end of this end turn phase, so we can end turn and we can see what happens. So I hope you're all enjoying this series. I'm thoroughly enjoying it this time around. First time around when I tried recording Carthage after release, I wasn't enjoying the series that much. Um, I wasn't getting very good performance on the campaign map and on the battle map. I had to lower all my settings down. It was a horrible experience. And you know, most YouTubers did say, oh, watch my previous Carthage campaign or whatever, but I swear to God, don't watch my previous Carthage campaign on my channel because it's not very good quality. The rendering is horrible. Um, even in HD, it's, you know, it's it's not worth it. This actual oh, what are they doing? I don't mind this because they're not attacking my province, and I can actually retreat. So I'm trying to draw them away, which I've done successfully. My little cat and mouse, and this has worked as well. They've gone to a boss him to. I can actually retreat from here as well. And they haven't chased me down. It's working. There we go. That actually worked. Oh shit, an army. <laughs> yeah, so I was trying to play cat and mouse in the ocean basically, and it worked. By moving my ships around and doing what I've done, I've divided all their ships up and I've stopped them from attacking my province for another turn, which gives me a chance, of course, to recruit some more units and to keep rebuilding. So. Let's see where we are. We've got one ship over here. I'm happy to leave them where they are. And we have this ship, which is basically... We can't get up there, of course. We can... Do we have a port? I don't believe we have a port. Which is a bit of a shame. I hope you want to know stance. This can't quite get there. They got a, they've only got one unit. What are they doing with this one unit? I'm gonna, I'm gonna Let's ignore them. Could go into raiding. They've got no ships over here, mind this. Sh they've got six. What have I got? Eight. I could take them out probably with an auto resolve because I'm not very good at naval battles. What I'm going to do is bring this army. Why can't I bring this army to here on? F ah, it's because they block the. Look at that, I can't get past because they're blocking me. Oh uh, man. That is dodgy. That is so dodgy. I can't get past. That doesn't make sense. There's like a gap there. It stops me from getting to this part of the ocean, even though it's in my. Oh uh, man. Right, we'd have to stay there. Kind of blocks them, I suppose, for Gadira for another turn, maybe. The, these ships probably can't catch me, being that far away. I'm still going to play cat and mouse in the ocean by attacking him again. Attack him. Attack him, boss him. <laughs> Blockade. I'm just going to wind them up basically with this this one unit just to keep them kind of occupied up there. They do the same thing with me with one unit as well, so the AI is trying to use my own tactics against me. Uh, this army, Kartuba's finest. We have 14 units. No mercenaries available to me, which is a shame because I quite need more units right now. Um. What have we got? A couple more units here. 
we are recruiting over here of course I'm going to do exactly the same another th four more units to be built here gives me 12 plus the eight I have so that's a full stack with it all combined there I could move this army and start attacking in other places but I need to build it up to be because I've got crap units at the moment basically I basically have Libyan Hoplites which are rubbish and Libyan Javelin which are rubbish rubbish I should say not rubbish <laughs> make up my own words here and I got my navy of course which is which can't get past which is ridiculous um, I had checked diplomacy because I haven't checked diplomacy in a while the RDI like me I can probably trade with them in that case. Moderate? Ooh. 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 I'm making old granny noise at the moment at the thought of that. Trade. How dare you. Right. We've got trade. Epirus can trade with me again. Oh, they've retaken. Thank you, Epirus. I can probably trade with these guys. <gasps> it's high. Oh, you fantastic bastards. Right. So we've got trade with the RDA and Epirus. Should give me some more fundage. Right. Just check. What else we can do? We're trading with the RDI, the Etruscans, and Epirus. The Etruscans are going to be wiped out eventually. They only have this left. Once Rome takes that, they'll go down for me over here. I don't mind at the moment though. Obviously, if if I do all right, or if I get some more money, and I think I can take some of these provinces out in the Mediterranean, I will. But I'm just not going to concentrate on that at the moment because I think other matters are more pressing. I oh, I wish I could get non-aggression with these. What if I offer you some money? I'll offer you a hundred. No. Okay. Sirenatia, you, you pricks. Um, Liguria. Up here. Non-aggression, perhaps? Oh, we've got non-aggression. What about trade? It's low. What about some money? I offer you one hundred. No. Well, it doesn't matter. We've got trade. Food's looking good. Money's looking good next turn. So we can end the turn and see what happens in this end turn phase so my spy is moving I'm gonna be attacked at a boss him again I don't mind this <laughs> I'm causing them all sorts of mischief in the Mediterranean at the moment I think I'll probably name this episode Mediterranean mischief just got a nice ring to it I think it's basically what I'm doing at the moment making them split their army their navies up and chase me all over the sea SpongeBob SquarePants so what are the Etruscans doing? They pull him back to Alalia. I like their thinking. The Arivaki. Arivaki? Or Arivachi? I have no idea. Arivaki sounds better, I think. Arivachi sounds Latin, like an Italian word. Arivachi. Pizza. What are the Gatuli doing? Ooh. Attacking my one ship again. I retreat again. <laughs> See, I'm making them waste all their movement points by doing this, basically. I'll go back in and attack them again, if I can. That's basically what I'm doing, so... And it's working, that's the funniest thing. The game can be exploited in situations like that. I mean, the, the naval concept of the game where armies can just walk into the sea. And we're going to lose Cosentia finally, so we will... Oh, there's, how many units they got? Oh, see, look at this. I've only got five units, but I've only got half mob units, so yeah, we'll resolve this. Be aware of the mob. Oh, straight in the throat. That's got to hurt. And I've lost Cosentia. Which was always going to happen. So Syracuse doing pretty well. They've taken a lot of land from me. But Carthage will never forget, so... I will go back and try to take them out, probably in like part 30 or something, because they've taken most of Magna Graecia, they only need one to see them to get a full province. Syracuse is pretty good in this game, surprising. This ship is going to cause mischief and attack if I'll see him again. <laughs> I'm enjoying this, just one ship attack and retreat. It's simple. It's simple. I actually still got my navy here so I can take these guys out of this. Oh, I can't get through. That's bullshit. Look at this. Mind you, eight ships. Hmm. I'm thinking something interesting here. Because I need to start taking provinces from these guys. That one unit's not going to do me anything, any harm, is it, really? 
I'm well defended up here. Yeah, I might actually attack Tingus. Migdol's the other one I gotta take, which is down here. Quite a long way away. It'll take a couple of turns to march. Yeah, I think I'm gonna attack Tingus. That's fine. Maintain blockade. We've got a bit of funds to work with. I can hire a unit of missile mercenary raiders. Done. Still against the auto resolve. That's fine. Kartuba is still building these units. I got some technology I needed to sort out, so civil could do fertilization. I need some military stuff really, so charge bonus enables building of training field. What the training oh I hate this, I can't actually click on the on the thing on the bottom left. Training field, where is it? Training field. What can Carthage recruit? Charge bonus, yeah, what does it recruit? Enable Oh, I hate this. <laughs> oh, Libyan Hoplite. It's what I've already got, isn't it? Oh no, it's mi mi the militia. That's a slight improvement, I suppose. Or I can get a workshop. Now, I think the workshop might be better for me because does not li give me artillery? Elephant training and armoured siege units. Yeah, I need the workshop, so I'm going to go for engineering. If I can stick the workshop in somewhere, I could continue recruiting units. I might... Wish we're well protected up here at the moment. I'm happy to keep them there. I'm going to need another army, I think. So we raise... Hananoid, Maganoid, others. Uh, these costs all cost money. I don't really care about this, but I just want to see where I am with it. Gizgo. Mago. Thanubada. Gisgo is an admiral. General Mago. I've got a clue. Uh, go with Halcon in that case. Or raise an army. Elephants, please. Ready for orders, sir. Can't get anything there. It's fine. We're just going to go for a couple of. Well, a unit of Libyan hoplites. And I'm going to give you some. The ambassadors of. Uh, what should I call this army? I'm gonna go with something different again. The Gadira, that's where I recruit you from. The Gadira uh, Giants. It sounds like an American uh, franchise sports team, doesn't it? The Gadira Giants. And yeah, that's basically that. This army can probably, yeah, it can attack you. Oh, look at that. We can take these guys out. Right, so what we got? We got my fleet and my army. They've got two ships and half a... oh my god, it's mainly javelin men. Right, we're going to assault them straight away. Uh, assault. We'll get this battle into this part. It was a risk worth taking. I can then move my ships, which are here, into the other settlement while I rebuild... Uh, while I recruit my new army, the Gadira Giants. Keep recruiting units there. Yeah, this is working out pretty well. So, my plan's kind of working now, as you can see. Two parts ago in part number eight, it didn't seem like such a good idea because uh, it was a big risk actually leaving everything in the Mediterranean, but I think that it's working pretty well for me now because we've just taken Kadida, we, well, well, we should, unless I do something drastically wrong, I should take Tingis as well, and then the Gate 2 leader on the back foot and I can concentrate on the Masaili. My plan is to eventually take I all of Iberia and most of North Africa. Dry us fine. Oh, it's a walled city. I didn't think of this. I did not think this through. I have ships that I can take, in, take into the port. Which is good. That's good. Uh, best way in. Gate here. There's a gate here and it doesn't seem to be... I could attack here. The gate probably the best way in. Yeah, I'm going to go for the gate, I think. So, what we got? Um, give my mercenaries, I don't care if I lose you, so you can go there. Uplit is ready. These two are going to go for this wall, basically. That's how we roll. Two to go there, two to go there. 
everything else can just wait down here for a bit. Just chillax, enjoy the view. The javelin men are ready. Just uh, blob all these guys in, start the battle. I be oh, I can't actually climb. Oh, I can climb here. Oh fuck! I gotta turn this guy off. I keep forgetting. Let's get this there. Let's get that there. Get this bastard over there, and then get this bastard over here. Oh, they got me on the walls. Ah, oh, once you get the walls, be fine against them. Where's my navy? Oh, there they are. Right, you guys. Just take the. Fucking kill them. Charge the bastards. What they got? They've only got two ships anyway. Oh my god, I could just send my elephants in right now. I might actually do that. Javelin men and javelin. Oh my god. I could just send the more elephants in. I'm gonna. Where are they? Fuck it, yeah, let's go for it. Fucking get the elephants on the thing. Just charge the fuck out of them now. Take two units out in one go. Oh my god, it's gonna be beautiful. Where they gone? Oh my god, where they gone? Holy shit, they've glitched. Oh my god. Where the fuck are they gone? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, there they are. Oh my god, I thought they bloody glitched for a minute then. I thought, oh my god, they sank into the water. Come on, war elephants, you fucking kill them. Oh, I love war elephants in this game. Fucking kill them. Kill the bastards. I'm gonna get all my javelin men and fucking shoot the shit out of them. Like so. Oh my god, it's, it's beautiful. Oh my god, this is war cry the shit out of them as well. Unit cam! Oh my god. Death. Just kill them, just kill them, oh my god. Oh, you just. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Right. That's the end of them. Let's pull the elephants out because I don't want to lose any. Oh shit, we've lost them. Oh no, they wrote shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I've lost control of the war elephants. I've actually lost control of my war elephants. I don't want to kill them because I lose my general then. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, I just lost my war elephants. They, they're killing my own men. Oh my god, I'm going to pull everyone out. <laughs> shit, this run. <laughs> Oh my god, all our hard work to kill two units and the fucking war elephants just rampaging all over the place. I don't want to kill them because my general's on there. And I think I lose my general if I kill them, so. Oh my god, that was just bad. Oh, I got control of them again now. Right, I'm just going to pull them out and probably <laughs> equip them in my formation. I just sent like all my militia over here. Oh my god, I sent all my javelin men down here. Just, just, that was just poor. That was that was a shameful display. I just I, I thought then I'd, I'd lose my general. I'm actually losing up here as well. It's not good. Oh, bleed day is ready. It's not working. Oh my god, I'm losing out the walls. Let's get my my javelin man in place. I might lose this battle now. Oh, I got all these ships over now. Right. These ships can actually go around in to the side of the of the uh, settlement because it's open and I can probably fire into the sides of them and they can't do nothing about it. It's all thought out, it's all planned. I might actually do what the AI does and actually just send like one unit to attack their thing. I've actually lost these, they've actually burned in my, my ladders so I can't actually do a lot to them at the moment. <sighs> send the hoplites up the ladders to fucking kill them. I'm going to send two units to attack these. And you, these guys can just attack the javelin men. No, oh my god, attack them. Right. Let's put auto quick reload on. Oh my god, I'm going to lose this now. <laughs> Am I joking? I shouldn't. I should not lose this battle. I say that now. Unless, of course, these guys glitch on the ladder, which does happen sometimes. I just can't go over that. That was funny as hell. I thought they'd, they'd glitched on the boats, and then when they come out to the boats. Uh, they actually, it was the line of sight, there's the hill by you. And then my elephants just charge in, and look at this mess by you, just completely massacred the two units of javelin men. And then my elephants, for some reason, just thought, fuck it, let's kill my own men. Just, just charge into my own men, and my army just split in two. Just send one over, half my army this way, and half the other this way. <laughs> I'm keeping them back here, because I don't trust them anymore. 
How many kills did they get? I want to see how many kills they got. 142, oh my god. They're just so overpowered. Mind you, Carthage needs overpowered units, because Carthage units are crap. To the windows. To the wall. Right. I want to look over here. What we got? Let's put auto quick reload on. I'm going to bring these two ships as near as I can to the enemy. Start hitting them from over here. I got two more javelin ships here. Put them on quick reload. And blob them into the side as well. And... What else I got? I'm going to take these three assault, si assault ships. I can't even speak properly today. Don't know what's wrong with me. Um, they can all... Actually, only two of them can. Oh, I've won! I haven't even gone to the. <laughs> I haven't even gone to the city and I've won this battle. How oh, is that possible? They got. Oh, they just side the flea, have they? Oh my god, what's going on with this game? I don't know a uh, clue what's happening at the moment. I learn battle, of course. I didn't even get into the city, and they just broke. Strange things are happening with this game. I must say. Very strange. Balhamun is not praised. So another victory for the mighty Carthage and Mago. Mago is a beast. My war elephant Mago is an absolute beast in this game. Only five minute battle. Didn't even get into the city and I won. The ship has sunk. You sunk my battleship. C2. You sunk my battleship. Right. We can occupy the desert nomadic. Could raise. Uh, I'm just going to occupy I think for now. My might not be a wise decision, we'll find out in a sec. Oh god. Right, so we go we've got to check public order. Rebellion in five turns, oh shit. I got a port, that's the important thing. These ships can go into the port and I can actually hold Tingis now and not worry about Kadira as much. Because I've only got one unit up there and I don't think they've got matching Carter Dash at the moment. Plus my ship up there is causing a lot of mischief at the moment. I'll then go down to Migdol once I'm able to replenish and stuff. But I think we're, we're going to win this war against uh, the Gate Tuli. I had to look who they were called then, I couldn't remember. Random African tribe number one. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're doing pretty well at the moment. What can we build unit wise? Oh shit, wrong button. Nothing, I can't build nothing, that's great I suppose. Uh, outskirts, port, this, I need to start rebuilding everything so I can't repair because i got no money, I'll have to do that next turn. Uh, this guy is recruiting as we speak, this guy is reputin, reputin <laughs> Rasputin, <laughs> recruiting these units as we speak as well and that's basically my plan so I will replenish as much as I can with these units, rebuild as much as I can, hold on to Tingis. It's a wall settlement anyway, so I should it should be fairly easy to defend. I'll then take the army from Tingis down to Migdol and take Migdol. And I will take Carter Dash back. Gives me a nice little sort of region over here, all of this will be mine. So I'll take a boss them eventually, but I like winding them up at the moment with this one unit. Because once they attack me, I'm going to retreat again, they won't follow me, so they shouldn't follow me. But yeah, that's basically it for this part, so I hope you enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.